hi, my name is Trey, and I'm one of the founding partners of Odd Salon, and I'm the curator for tonight. And every night you have a curator and you have six talks. And so how this work thing works is that it's six short talks around a central subject, so tonight is dual, and they are inspired by the odd corners of art, history, science, and adventure. Uh, we tend to have a boisterous audience, so be prepared. Our speakers are both experts and enthusiast, enthusiastic amateurs. We have a loud and boisterous crowd, and that's the way that we love it. So if you feel appropriate, yell out, holler. Uh, some of the common ones that you will hear are ships and science. Our stage is your stage, and we like to invite you up on stage to give a talk. If you are inspired after seeing our fellows and speakers and newcomers speak up here and you'd like to pitch a talk, you can always go to our group, either the Facebook group that's online or our website, and fill out the little speakers form, and you will be able to see uh, about pitching and what are the upcoming topics. You'll also learn about the upcoming talk at topics at the end of this. Also, tweet, gram, do the things, make the noise. Uh, that's, our, that's our at and that's our hashtag. <laughs> Weirdly, I'm a social media professional. <laughs> tweet, do the things. All right, so tonight is all about Duel. And as I think about Duel and as I think about the type of very weirdly honor-bound orchestrated violence that it was, I find it, well, rather fucking ridiculous. So the deal is, is so you insult my honor, my honor is now damaged, and therefore we must fight to the death with strict rules, with pistols or umbrellas or what have you. It's kind of ridiculous. It's just as ridiculous in my mind as going out into the desert, building a giant dome, giving people weapons, and chanting one man enters, two men leaves, but oh yeah. We do that too. Dueling has kind of a weird and illustrious history, and it was really the option, uh, and whether, sorry, moment. It has a really weird history, um, and, and in opposition to our kind of post-apocalyptic future that we seem to be facing increasingly and increasingly soon, this was a con conflict revolution that was reserved really for the posh, for the wealthy, and for the politically inclined, and as most of us know it, in the Western sense, isn't really the sense that it was executed in. And the fact was, is that dueling had rules. Lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of them. In 1977, the Irish Code Dulo was adopted by several Irish uh, counties to govern the duels that were happening increasingly more often. And more specifically, to govern pistol duels, which were becoming more and more popular. The code was then adopted by the US Navy and printed it in their midshipman handbook. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, until it was banned and dueling between naval officers was banned in 1862. So my personal favorite of all of these rules is 13, of course. It says, no dumb shooting or firing into the air is admissible in any case. No shooting into the air. Child's play must be dishonorable on one side or the other and is accordingly prohibited. So basically it was saying, if you challenge someone to a duel, if you accepted that duel, you better shoot that motherfucker. In California, we outlawed dueling a bit earlier. We outlawed it with our first constitution, Article 6, Section 2, in 1849. Uh, and because this was a, a mode of violence really only executed by the posh and those people that may want to run for political office, the crime and the, the punishment were in line. And so the punishment for that crime was the inability to vote or to take public office, either that which was given to you, appointed to you, or that which was you were voted into. But the fact is, is like, yeah, sure, it's law, but who was gonna enforce it? And no one enforced it, and so the fighting continued. Um, and it was basically unenforceable, and sheriffs were like, yeah, whatever. Uh, and, and so then we had the Broderick and Terry duel just outside of San Francisco, which left an empty seat in the US Senate. That was in 18. <laughs> was <a> <laughs> that, 
that meant something different in those days. <laughs> um, so that happened in 1859. And then the Civil War broke out and we saw a huge uptick in political insults and violence and therefore duels. Uh, and so the laws surrounding duels became more and more important and were incorporated into our penal code in 1872 with a massive expansion of the number of things that were actually crime and an expansion of those punishments. So does anyone have a guess as to what the punishment was for sending or accepting a challenge to fight a duel? One year in prison and the loss of your right to vote. The punishment for fighting a duel in which someone dies within a year, now if that person dies outside of a year, well, <laughs> sucks for them, no punishment, uh, was two to four years in prison and the loss of the ability to vote or hold office. And then let's say that you were like, haha, oh, really, you didn't fight that duel, you didn't accept that offer to duel, that man insulted you and you did not ask him to duel, that was a misdemeanor. Now, if, if a judge or a sheriff watched a duel and was like, okay, whatever, or knew about a duel and didn't do anything, or didn't arrest the people that had dueled or who were preparing to duel, that was $1,000. Okay, so I don't have $1,000 to cough up, and I'm pretty sure that they didn't have $1,000 in 1872. That's a lot of money. That's not just like, okay. Um, and so these punishments were all around these, this time in prison and as well as the loss of the right to vote still because duels were really all around the people that would want to vote and would want to hold office. So we always start our evenings with the invocation using someone else's words. And I had planned to use this poem starting about a month ago when I knew I was curating this. And then somebody said it at the last salon. Whatever, I'm still saying it. <laughs> That's a misdemeanor, sir. <laughs> oh, by the way, all of those laws were taken off the books in 1994. So you can now challenge someone to a duel. However, if anyone dies, still all the stuff still applies because you killed them. Um, okay, so here is a nonsense poem that reflects the nonsenseness of dueling that I was taught by my father. I, after researching the actual words to it, realized that he taught it to me wrong. Huh? He's not even here in the audience to get that tort. Anyway, uh, so here is the poem. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords and shot each other. Two deaf policemen heard the noise and came to rescue two dead boys. One ran around the corner in the middle of the block. One climbed a building in a vacant lot. If you don't believe this lie is true, ask the blind man, he saw it too. In this, <laughs> thank you. It is in this honor-bound context that I introduce our speakers for the night, Kat, Kate, Tamar, Erling, Daniel, Andre, and Leonard. And because our first speaker of the night and is an esteemed member of that same <clears throat> group that goes out to the desert every year, I would wonder if you would indulge me and joining me in chanting, and she's speaking about words, specifically words, in chanting, two words enter, one word leaves, two words enter, one word leaves, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 